Hi, we're the cooks. Today we'll be sharing with you the cold hardy avocado. This is the tree our boys were most excited to have. Not only do they both love to eat avocados, but it just feels special and exotic to be able to say you're growing avocados in your own home. The cold hardy avocado is a fairly laid back tree, but look out for signs of pests like mites or lace bugs, and also for too much direct sunlight on young leaves. Using a lightweight cloth to cover new leaves will help keep your tree looking vibrant. In preparation of possible pest concerns, we wanted to have as many natural options in place as possible. The first thing we did was have the kids paint rocks the color of our anticipated fruits. Then we placed the rocks around the corresponding trees well before the fruit would appear. This way, any curious critters passing by would assume the colorful fruits are just more rocks. And if you're looking for a pest spray, an all-natural pesticide like neem oil can help get the job done. We included some in our order from FastGrowingTrees.com to have on hand if we needed. The most important part for success with our cold hardy avocados has been paying attention to watering needs and ensuring well-drained soil. The cold hardy avocado tree can suffer from root rot, so it's important to put a nice layer of rock in the bottom of the pot. These are the rocks that we're going to use, so make sure to be careful. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is cover that with a nice layer of organic planting mix. We added this mix to our order from fastgrowingtrees.com. And we're just gonna sprinkle a nice layer on top. All right, next up we'll put the root rocket on top to stimulate root growth. I help? Yeah, you can help me. Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. Okay. Okay, and now we're gonna add our beautiful tree. All right, now let's Mom. set it down in there. We'll top that with more planting mix. Yes. Also, be careful when you take the pe when you take the plant out. Be, be careful not to hurt it. Be right. sure to leave a few inches for mulch, which I have some mulch behind me. All right, Archer, will you help me put the mulch on top? Yeah. All right. Pull the mulch a little bit away from the base of your tree just to give it some space to breathe. Okay, now it's time to water. Make sure to water it so Whoa. it helps. <laughs> <laughs> Find a spot for your cold hardy avocado tree that gets at least six hours of full sunlight. During the hottest months for your region, it's best to water your outdoor plants in the early morning and evening hours to avoid heating their roots unnecessarily. Also, help keep them hydrated by misting leaves with a spray bottle, but try to do so at a time when the sun is not shining directly on them as it can burn and damage wet leaves. If you notice damage or dropping of leaves during a time of excessive heat, move your trees into the shade or cover with a cloth and monitor their soil closely for moisture. Cold hardy avocados will occasionally drop their leaves naturally, but with a little extra attention, they'll come back just as beautiful and healthy as before. We've had a lot of fun getting to know these plants and their individual needs. We're looking forward to watching them bloom and then harvesting our own fruit. We hope we shared some helpful knowledge along the way. Thanks for growing with our family. We'll see you next time.